Uh, my, my objective is to create a very simple, very current um, introduction to what Needle Life is for those who don't know. And for those who do know what Needle Life is, I would like to help you understand why I consider this to be such an easy, easy and obvious yes, and why it is that my enthusiasm grows every single day. And so the first thing that I want to do as we begin is recognize, I'll introduce myself. I've been full-time in the network marketing industry for a really, really, really long time. And over the course of that period of time, I've become completely convinced that there are a handful of elements that are required for success in a network marketing company. Needle Life is a network marketing or direct selling company. It is a participant in the home-based business arena. Now, I know that even when I say that, that brings every different thought and fear and emotion into people's minds. Uh, for right now, let me just say, because I want to keep this brief, that like whatever you know, the absolute very, very best, that is the way that I know and understand network marketing. I promise you it is. I've been full-time at this for the last 33 years. Um, amazing to me to say, um, in that 33 years, my organizations have now reached just right, just barely under the threshold of $5 billion in sales, sales on which I've been paid royalties. It's resulted in a life experience, not just an income experience that I would wish for every single person. And I've come to know and understand that there are five elements required for success. And what I wanted to do here today was do some things that maybe you don't see on an everyday basis. The first element required for success is a product or a service that matters for people. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to share my screen. And in sharing my screen, I'm going to give you a sneak peek into my back office. And I will teach you what the product offering is as we look at the back office together. And so hang on with me for one second. I'm going to log into it. Thought it was already keyed up for me. I apologize for that. One second. <laughs> okay, so we'll go in here and I will share this with you. And again, I'm choosing intentionally to do a presentation that would not be similar to what you might see on just an average daily basis, because most people on a daily basis are not going to be opening up their back office as I'm opening up my back office to you right now. Why am I doing it? Because I'd like you to see the simplicity of the offering. I would like you to see the exact realities of our offering as it exists today. And so here I have logged into my back office. I indicated that the first element required for success was what? The first element required for success is a product or service that matters to people. And so now in logging in, we'll take a look at our currently available offering. And so now glancing here at this back office, what do we see? It says Nilo Life Membership. And so I'm logging in to the Nilo Life Membership. And as I log in to the Nilo Life Membership, I'm logging first into the travel portal. And so my decision, my, um, my objective is to talk about things that we have today, maybe give you only a couple of tiny hints about what's coming in the future. But my opinion is that a person should choose to get involved in this project or not get involved in this project based upon what we have available to us today, literally right now. And so you notice we've clicked on hotels and, and by the way, um, I'm, uh, I'm welcoming each of one of you here, the handful that knew this was gonna be on Zoom, there's a handful of you here and the rest are on Facebook. Um, but um, so my, my friend, Fast Feet, um, you and I spoke once not so long ago and yesterday I was down in Florida and, and while there I, um, I spoke with Willie and he told me a little bit about your current life experience and told me about your past successes and, and I want you to know that I am personally, I am personally interested in helping you accomplish whatever you want to accomplish in this business. Now I say that to Fast Feet, I could say it to any of you because my commitment extends to every person of goodwill and intent who has a desire to accomplish more, who is willing to do more, to get more, and who is willing to sift and sort a little bit to find out what makes an offering special versus what does not. And so what is our first offering right now? Because I again just came back from Florida just for fun. I'm going to put in here in the location. I'm going to put in Miami and it could be any place, but I'm going to put in Miami and I am just going to pick a day. It could be any day. I'm going to pick May 24th and I'm just going to book it for one night. Now, one thing that I believe is this. I believe that if anyone looks at just simply our travel product offering, if one learns no more about our business, if one looks only at our travel product offering, I believe that one could not just justify an entry to the business, but one could justify an entry and a remarkable commitment to the business. As I've spent my life in the home-based business arena, as I reflect back upon it, I'm willing to acknowledge that a lot of my success has come why. A lot of my success has become because of my own 
particular set of talents, talents which God gave to me. I did nothing to earn them. My own particular set of talents, which I have then done my part, and I've worked and I've worked and I've worked to refine those, refine those talents into skills that become beneficial to other people. Too much of my success has come because of my own individual set of talents or skills. If you don't happen to be a persuader, so right now, Guillermo, I'm Mr. Padilla, I'm glancing at you. I don't know what your background is. I don't know what your skills are. I don't know where your areas of natural strength are. For a season of my career, um, I persuaded people that utilizing a non-prescription item to reduce serum cholesterol would be better than using a prescription item. For a season of my career, I persuaded people that the acai berry, as a result of its tremendous antioxidant values, would be something you should consume and use. Looking back in hindsight now, I'm willing to acknowledge and understand that way too much of my success has not come because other people also had success. Way too much has come because other people struggled. They tried but couldn't get the key in the lock. And so now we've opened up the travel portal. And what does it do first? I picked a couple of dates. And by the way, any of you who choose to please log in to Orbits or Travelocity, booking.com, log in and compare. And what you'll see, how does our system work? The first thing that it will do is look at what is the greatest deal. Okay, well, the greatest deal, if I looked at this one, what does it say? It's got a 2.7 out of five rating. You know what? I would pass on that deal. Even though on our side, it's $149 and on Orbitz or Travelocity or Expedia, it will be $392.99, period. That is, that is the number that it will be. I'll explain to you in a moment why we can have such substantially better prices. But if one is shopping purely for price, here we have 62% off the other travel services, that would be a fairly obvious yes to me. And it wouldn't take persuading. That would be a very obvious yes. There's no reason to persuade. If I want to stay in a hotel and I want to stay in or around Fort Lauderdale, do I need to persuade you that spending $149 is dramatically superior to spending $392? No, I don't. And so what it does, it starts out just picking some really great deals. And so here's the, the Gates Hotel South Beach, a Doubletree Hotel by Hilton. Our site, it's $171.99 per night. Now, I'm not telling you something that I think. I'm telling you what I know. If you log on to the Hilton site, it will be at least $459.99. If you log on to Travelocity, Orbitz, Expedia, Booking.com, it will be at least $459.99. It may be more. That is the truth. Now, the question is, how can that be possible? Remember, the first element required for success is a product or service that matters to people. And so right now to decide, um, is this a business that has legs, whether or not you do it? Does this business only have legs because of your set of talents and skills? Let's stop and think about it for a second. Are people going to check in to that hotel, the Gates Hotel? Are they going to check into that hotel tonight? Did they check in last night? Will they check in tomorrow? Yes. Are they doing it because you persuaded them? No. They're doing it because either their job or business required them to be in Miami today. And therefore, they needed a place to stay. And since they needed a place to stay, then the simple logic was, well, would I rather spend $459.99 or would I rather spend $171.99? Even if we're spending the company's money, we would all rather spend $171.99. No persuasion skills are required. And so you see the simple mechanism, the simple thought that I have is, let it be that our success comes, why? Because we're helping other people do what they want to do for their reasons and purposes. We're not convincing them to do something that we want them to do. And so the way that travel portal will open in the beginning, it will just take a look at a variety of different type price offerings and say, these are fantastic deals. And so here they are, fantastic deals, 105 versus 237. And by the way, um, I understand the way that life works. And I understand there probably is a naysayer or two on the session, probably a person who says, oh, that's because the other site has fewer fees tacked on or something. No, 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 no. I'm giving you a direct apples to apples or oranges to oranges comparison. If you go to the Gates Hotel, click on continue and go all the way to the checkout, have every bit of tax added, every resort fee added, every fee that is added, then do the very same thing in Orbitz. And what you will see is that the spread is exactly what you see represented here. Your net cost will be, you will be saving you no less than $280 if you book that particular hotel. Now, if on the other hand, you don't want the system to just pick the spot for you, well, then you can choose what kind of a place do you want to stay in. So I just clicked on a five-star rating, and there we see the Ritz-Carlton Ball Harbor, one of the fine, fine hotels in the area. You can see that on our site, that is $703.99. It is the fact, this is not something I'm saying might be true, it is the 100% truth that if you look on Orbitz, Expedia, Travelocity, or Booking, it's going to be $1,100.99. 
That is a $400 per night savings. It costs $59 per month to be a member of our community. What is our community? It is a lifestyle membership. As you likely are a member at Cost Club or Price Club or Costco or Price Club or something similar, when you join Nilo Life as a pure consumer, you are joining a community as a primary purpose of lifelong personal growth and development, learn, grow, develop, and become. We're joining a community who has a stated desire to spend less money doing things they want to do as opposed to us selling that community something. And by the way, once again, I'm hoping very much that somebody will do this. I hope somebody goes to Orbits or Travelocity or Booking.com, puts in those same dates and finds out what I'm telling you is true. This is not approximately true. It is exactly true. It is 100% the truth. And so now with that in mind, the first element required for success is a product or service that matters to people. I remind myself um, that many years ago, my first great success in the home-based business arena was with a company that offered a product that didn't meet any immediate need that I had as a person. And by the way, if we come back down here, you could also put in the hotel name. You can put in the Four Seasons. If you want to stay in the Four Seasons, you'll have a savings at it, similar to the savings at the Ritz-Carlton. If you want to stay at the Plaza in New York, it'll be 25, 30, 35, 40 percent lower, less money than if you buy it on Travelocity or Expedia or the hotel site itself. If you want to stay at the Holiday Inn Express, you'll have the same percentage savings. And so once again, when I first got engaged in the home-based business arena, my first tremendous financial breakthrough was a company that offered a cholesterol reduction product. And my cholesterol at that point, I had no idea what it was, nor did I care. Why would I care? I was 30 years old and people who are 30 years old don't have a great interest in what their serum cholesterol is. And so it was important for me at that moment in time to realize that though the product offering might not impact me as an individual. For example, I've got a group of young people in Mexico, young people, they're making a thousand, two thousand dollars a month in their jobs, their careers. It's not on their mind that they're going to be traveling to Paris next year. It's not on their mind that they're going to go on some extraordinary vacation. That's not it. They're trying to pay the bills. They're trying to get by. I would remind any person like that, that when I first joined the network marketing industry, I joined a company whose product I knew I would never use. I had no need for cholesterol reduction. But what I had was an awareness that 10,000 people per day in America were and are turning 50 years old and that they would have a heightened awareness of the health challenges that go with aging, that they would be interested in cholesterol reduction. You see, the product didn't have to matter to me as an individual. I am a businessman. I am an entrepreneur. I wasn't joining the company to use their product. I was joining the company to create distribution for the product and therefore earn royalties. Now, in this company's case, I joined the company to use the product, both in when I travel by myself, if Samantha and Bosco are not with me, then I stay in inexpensive hotels. The most uh, biggest part of my, of my business expense is what it is travel. And so I stay in inexpensive hotels. If on the other hand, if on the other hand, I am traveling with Samantha, then we stay in fine locations. We stay in the finest places in the world. And so for me, this is the very, very obvious, yes, this makes sense to me. Um, if you travel for business, if you travel for pleasure, or if you know people who travel for business or pleasure, this also makes sense to you. And one more thing I want to show before I move past the travel portal is our company continues to surprise and impress, surprise on the upside. And so when I joined this company only a couple of weeks ago, nobody told me anything about life perks. I didn't know what life perks are, and I didn't know that they were coming. They didn't tell us, guys, this is coming, this is coming. Just one day. We just, bang, we found out there was a new offering. And the new offering, sorry, because I'm live streaming it slow. And so now, whereas just a couple of days ago, what one could do is what? One could book hotels, but when that live stream opens up, now what can you do? Well, you can book hotels, but if you're gonna go to Disney, just take a look over here, folks, by the way. Look at Universal Orlando Resort over here on the right-hand side. Take a look. You can buy those tickets for 65 bucks a day. Now, just for sport, just because, when we're done, go to the Universal Orlando Resort site and find out. You'll find out you're paying half price for those tickets. Um, I will never again book a rental car that is not booked on this site. Um, saves tremendous money. You can book any theme park that you want to book in the United States. You can also book concert seats. You want to see Billy Joel in New York at Madison Square Garden? Well, would you rather pay a little better price for the exact same ticket than become a Nilo Life member? So specifically and exactly, what is Nilo Life? Nilo Life is a community. And at least from my perspective, the primary purpose is, is lifelong personal growth and development when we when we gate, when we become a gateway to other people where they learn, grow, develop, and become all that they must in order to get the key, the key to success in 
the lock, the key to the lock of success in all parts of life, not just one part of life, then we've done a service for them. And if we can make money because we're helping other people live life with less financial pressure, um, if we can help people enjoy life because of lifestyle offerings, which may not otherwise be available to them, I think we've done a tremendous service for them. I'm logging back into my regular back office because I want to show you a couple more things that would be very, very important to me if I were you. So I referenced at the outset that Nila Life is a, a direct selling company. And I am very, very aware that there are countless people who have doubts, fears, and insecurities about the network marketing model itself. Um, I count myself among the most fortunate people on planet Earth because 33 years ago, I was privileged to be taught the correct fundamentals of the direct selling industry. I was privileged to be taught what it really is as opposed to what so many people think that it is. We'll now log in to my account. And when we log into my account, we're logging in because I'd like to illustrate for you a couple of the things that provoked my entry to the industry 33 years ago and that have resulted in my not just staying involved in the industry, but having made a decision 33 years ago to become as good at it as I possibly could. I want you to know that today my great objective is to continue to refine my skills, to refine my character so that I can help more people accomplish more. Why? Because my results are directly attributed to the positive results of other people. And so a number of years ago, when I went to my very first direct selling presentation, some of you have been around the industry for a while. And by the way, if you've been around the industry for a while, you've had a measure of success sometime in the past. And since then, you've not been able to recreate it. I know what that feels like. My first great big success, it happened between 1991 and 2001, a tremendous financial breakthrough. One day I sold that distributorship. And when I sold that distributorship for over $7 million, by the way, when I sold that distributorship, um, I believed that because I was Randy, I could go and do it any place. You know what I found out in the next few years? I found out that being Randy was not all that I thought that it was. There was a combination of elements that were perfectly in place in the company I'd been associated with. And I surrounded myself with a group of people who were so good that their strengths overcame my multiple weaknesses. And it was the combination of the five elements required for success and the people that I associated myself with. One of those people's name was Nathan Ricks. And you'll notice that here I've scrolled up and it says affiliate 63 granting you all the ability to glance there at my back office. And so I remember that I stood in line at that very first presentation. I stood in line for a long time. It was highly annoying to me. But I stood in line and I waited to see the leader. And when it was finally my turn, I asked him, I said, Nathan, why should I do what you do instead of doing what I do? And for the past several years, I've been um, a quite successful stockbroker, a senior vice president at a large New York Stock Exchange brokerage firm. And he said, Randy, that will be so easy. And I said, why will it be easy, Nathan? He said, Randy, that will be so easy um, because I know a bit about what it means to be a stockbroker. But let me ask you a couple of questions. He said, on whose efforts do you get paid? And I could now pose that same question to each of you as you contemplate whether you should do this. Well, do you ever travel? Do you ever buy airplane tickets? Do you ever buy, not airplane tickets, do you buy hotel rooms? Do you go to theme parks? Do you go to baseball games? Do you stay in expensive hotels? Do you stay in inexpensive hotels? Would you rather do so for less money? Would you rather make money? because you help others do so for less money. Well, all of those things are why we're here. But Nathan said, Randy, on whose efforts do you get paid? I get paid on one guy's efforts up until then. It was me. And he then opened up his monthly commission report. And that's kind of what I'm doing for you here. I'm showing you the realities, how it really is. You see up here, it says affiliates, 53, 63, it says. That means that I have personally enrolled 63 people. By the way, I've been involved with this company for about two and a half weeks right now. And it says I've personally enrolled 63 people. Now, any of you who've been around network marketing, you know, that's kind of a crazy number in a very short period of time. How did that happen? I gave 76 people a chance to say yes or no. That's how it happened. The offering is so overwhelmingly positive. I gave 76 people a chance to say yes or no, and 63 of them so far have said yes. I believe that most of the others will as they come to understand and have greater clarity. How did it happen? I sent them a two-minute video. I said, gosh, George... And now, I, and now I'm making I'm making this up because I'm just seeing George's name there. I don't know George, but I'm pretending I know him. George, based on all that I've seen and heard and observed in you, I think the talents and skills you have have prepared you really well for a cool new offering. Um, I know your lifestyle. I know this fits in your lifestyle. This is something we could do together. I invite you to watch a couple of minute video and then just tell me if you'd like to have a conversation afterwards. That's what I did. I did that six, 76 times. Having done that 76 times, 63 said, sure, Randy, why not? And so let me ask you a question. Would you rather get paid for what you do? Or if you have a little imagination, could you imagine getting paid for what 63 people do? That would be better, wouldn't it? 
And you know what? Those 63 people, these are all people who got involved because they wanted to make money. I have customers also. They're not listed here. Well, over here. Yes, members, customers. Actually enrolled my first customer today. So hopefully that'll show up here right away. I have customers in the organization. Now, there you go. You see two, two total in the organization. So I've not enrolled any customers, but in the organization, I have two customers because that just barely got turned on. So I've enrolled 63 people who want to make money and use the service. So far in my group, there are two who have not expressed interest in making money. They just want to use the service. But those 63 that I've enrolled who wanted to be involved in the business, they have now turned into what? 731. And so now let me ask you another question. Would you rather get paid on the efforts of one or 731? And so Nathan asked me the question, Randy, would you rather get paid for what many people do? And then he stopped himself and he said, no, I'm not going to ask you if you'd rather. I'm going to tell you that you should rather if you came to understand it. Leverage, not the leverage of financial leverage, borrowing money that can cut two ways. The leverage of time, getting paid for what other people do, getting paid for the way other people live, getting paid when other people make money. That is the holy grail. That is the magic. That's income that takes on a life of its own. You can't stop it from growing once the income starts to become reality for other people. And then he said, so Randy, you're a stockbroker. You get paid on one guy's efforts. He said, the part of the problem is there's only one of you. He said, there's an even bigger problem. I said, what's the bigger problem? He said, well, Randy, tell me when it is that you can make money. When do you make money? He said, well, I'm a stockbroker. I lived in California at the time. And, and the market was open from 6.30 a.m. until 1 every day, Monday through Friday. And so he said, okay, so what you're telling me is that um, you can earn money Monday through Friday from 6.30 a.m. until 1 p.m. Is that right? And I said, yeah. And he said, and when do you spend money? Well, it's kind of, I don't spend money all the time. He said, well, do you have a mortgage on your home? And I said, yeah. I said, well, if you have a mortgage on your home, Randy, when do they charge you interest? And at that moment in time, I said, well, I make the payments on the 27th. So that's not what I asked you. When do they charge you interest? Well, they charge me interest 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. He said, that's right. Randy, you just identified your primary problem in your economic model. Your primary problem is that you are a part-time earner. You earn money 6.30 to 1, Monday through Friday. You're a part-time earner and you're a full-time spender. And that is why you have financial constraints. And that's why you're going to continue to have financial constraints until unless you find a way to get paid for what other people do, get find a way to get paid for the way other people live, find a way to get paid for the way that other people, find a way to get paid because other people earn. And then he asked me another question. He said, so you get paid only on one guy's efforts. And he said, do most of those people live in the United States? I said, well, they all live in the United States. I said, well, that's really bad news, Randy, because what that means to me is that tonight when you go to bed, you won't be earning any money because you'll still be spending. You should do something to change that. And he then did something. And today I can only show you a tiny, tiny, tiny little snippet in comparison because his commission report at that time was about an inch and three quarters thick and thumbs through it. He said, Randy, there's more than 100,000 people on this list. And every time one of them use my company's product or service, I make a little bit of money. And every time one of them... Um, makes money, I make a little bit of money. And he said, Randy, the, the magic thing about this is that quite a few of them don't live in the United States. And uh, I couldn't understand how exactly that might happen, but he said quite a few of them don't. And so you see what I've just done, I'm putting in over here in the country. You see, I'm gonna scan down here and I'm gonna put in just for the fun of it, I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna put in India. And as I put in India, I'm guessing that right now there's no one watching this live from India. I'll copy this link and I'll send it over and to my friends in India, to Raj and all the others who have joined and to Shah who guided me there. Thank you so much. But folks, we're two weeks in and, and this is my group in India. Now, um, I don't know how you could possibly look at this and say anything except, wow, that is amazing and that is cool. You see, culturally, it's quite different. Um, time zone is dramatically different. But what is the same? What is the same is that everyone would like to live life with less financial pressure. What is the same? Everyone would like to learn, grow, develop, and become. And I didn't realize earlier in my life, but today I kind of know what everybody wants. We all want the same thing. We all want to be more happy more of the time, and we all have the same general contributors, what makes that possible or not. And so here's my group in India. Now, I would just ask all of you this simple question. Would it be cool or would it not be cool for you to be getting paid some money in India, even if you've never been there one time in your life? And I'd have to say the answer is yes, that would be. You might wonder how that could possibly happen. Well, we'll talk about that some more. Well, here I click on Israel. And if I click on Israel, I don't know how many of you folks have been in Israel and how many of you have not. But I mean, is this not just over the top cool? This has been going on for a handful of days, folks, for a handful of days. That's all. Um, what if I were to take another quick look over here and just take a fast look at uh, Malaysia, for example, 
And you might be saying, well, Randy, I don't know anybody in Malaysia. I didn't know any of these people either. I was introduced to these people in Malaysia by another. And so here is my group in Malaysia. Um, I, I don't know how this feels to you. I remember back those years ago when Nathan was illustrating to me the difference in the quality of his income and he thumbed through a commission report and he showed me his groups in various places all over the world. I happened to be looking at that point in time, um, not at an organization that was a few weeks old, but I was looking at an organization that was a few years old and it was absolutely overwhelming. I mean, it was just overwhelming. I could hardly believe it. But even now, as I contemplate and I consider what I just showed you, uh, you're seeing a process that uh, now I want, to, I want to be completely, totally and absolutely fair here. I've been doing what I do for a living for a very long time. And so I've learned how to not waste time, effort, energy and money. And I've developed relationships on a global scale. But remember this, we cannot start from where we're not. We must start from where we are. And there was a time when I had my first breakthrough success outside the United States. Well, First successes are first successes. I had to learn things I didn't know yet. What is my great objective? My great objective is to teach you those things which you must know so that you can get the key in the lock of all of the possibilities that are represented by this company. Now, if I go back over to my little screen share here, a couple more things that I'd like to illustrate to you. In this mechanism, um, we have a few different ways that we make money. And right now I can only illustrate a couple of those ways. Why? Because the company has not even run its first commission report. But here I can already illustrate a few things. And so you can see right here, these commissions open up and you can see these various items of $25. And there's quite a few of those $25 items. How did that happen? Every time I enrolled someone, when I personally enrolled them, now remember a moment ago, I described how that happened. How did that happen? 63 people have said yes to the idea. And of that, that happened because I gave 76 people a chance to say yes. I believe that those 13 other people, there are some of those who are likewise going to say yes. When that person said yes, they joined the company. They spent $79. It cost $20 to join this company and have access to the compensation plan. The other $59. So it's 79 the first month. But 59 is the ongoing monthly fee to utilize the market basket of services, to be a part of the community, to have access to all that we offer. And so whenever anyone joined me, then I got this $25. And by the way, when did that happen last? Well, today, the last person I enrolled was today, before today, the last person I enrolled was yesterday. How does that happen? Very simply, I go through my life and I listen to people. That's all I do, I listen to people. And they tell me that their plans are for the summer. And I say, no kidding, I may have a way to make that a little more positive experience for you, I'll send you a link. Or somebody tells me my daughter's getting married, what I heard him say is wedding dresses, weddings cost a lot, I might have an idea that's worth some while for you, worth time to you, let me send you a link. And so when we, continue on down here. I'll show this. So all those so far say 70 or say 25. We keep looking. We'll see another piece of income. Maybe it's not. Maybe I didn't put in the right dates for it. Okay. So there we see some 75s. What's this 75 about? Well, the 25, that was if I simply was the person who was the gateway. I was the conduit. I was the introducing factor. The person said, my gosh, yes. Why would I ever spend more money than I, than I need to spend on these various products and services? Of course, I want to do this. When I was the guy that made the introduction, I got paid $25. Now, on this session where I invited you all to be here, I said, get unified and get unified now. When you see these $75 entries, what does that mean? That means those are people who have become unified. What does it mean they become unified? Very simply, it means that they have not just enrolled. I'm going to make a quick picture here for you so you know exactly what that means. Becoming unified is the gateway to everything else in the compensation mechanism. It works like this. If this is Randy, becoming unified means when I have enrolled one, and so my friend Greg Hayden is here, and so if we use this as an example, if this were Greg, then what is my responsibility? My responsibility is to help Greg. It's not just to enroll him, but to help Greg. And so my responsibility is to enroll Greg, help Greg enroll his first two, and help his first two enroll their first two. And so whenever I look at a new enrollment, I've personally enrolled a new person. In this case, I use the example as Greg. I do not look at this as one. When I enrolled Greg, what that did is create for me an opportunity and a responsibility to turn one into seven. Because when I turn one into seven, that account is now unified. What happened when it became unified? Well, Greg enrolled this one and this one. He got paid $25 each time, just like I did when I enrolled Greg. 
when Greg helped this one enroll too, this one got paid $50. This one enrolled too, he got paid $50. When Greg made his business look like this, he is unified. He is enrolled too and helped each of them enroll too. Now Greg gets a commission of $75. That's unified. And so the very simplest, easiest mechanism, and by the way, you don't have to know anything else about the compensation plan except what I just described. That's all you have to know. If you do that, enroll a new person, help them become unified. What does that mean? Enroll a new person, help that person enroll too, help those two enroll too. If you do that again and again, again, enroll, unify, repeat, enroll, unify, repeat. You can learn all you want about the compensation plan. And one day I suggest that you do. I will tell you that right now, knowing a lot about the compensation plan is very, very unimportant. What is very important is knowing this, enroll, unify, repeat, enroll, unify, repeat. What is happening when you do so? So when I looked over here at Greg, I didn't see one. I saw the opportunity for one to become seven. Each one of those seven do what? They enter a block of volume. And by the way, people have been all concerned, frustrated, worried about this shape of a pyramid, but oh my gosh, pyramids are bad. Pyramids are absolutely wonderful. If you build one, it'll stand for thousands of years. That's been evidenced in uh, Egypt for a long time. Every organizational structure has that same shape. That is not what we're talking about. We build a 16 generation deep block of volume. And so if this is Randy and I enroll Greg, Greg is on my first generation, but what does Greg's group look like? Greg's group takes in one generation that mine does not. This is Greg's group. My group is the top block. Greg's group comes down and takes in one generation that mine does not. Greg enrolls a person. That person has an identical 16 generation block of volume. And so the whole idea that he or she who is first gets the most. No, timing does matter. But at this point in time, you're all seeing it very, very, very early in the game. This block of volume, this block of volume. And it all goes just like I described. I enroll Greg and I only went halfway. I showed you how Greg would enroll one and get this one unified. The way we launch our business is by enrolling two. So Greg enrolls two people. He helps each of those two enroll two, helps their two enroll two. Now they're unified and he goes and repeats the process. Okay? Every one of these people, besides generating that immediate $25 check, if you were the person enroller, the $75 check when you help them become unified, they all come into this matrix this matrix is two by 16, 16 levels of depth, each person being responsible for enrolling two. That then creates 131,700 people when that matrix is full. And when will it become full? I'm gonna tell you the truth. It'll be a very, very, very small percentage of people who ever have a completely built out matrix. Very, very, very small. But that would be logical when I tell you this next thing, a fully built out matrix, each account in this matrix on an ongoing monthly basis is worth between a dollar and a four a dollar forty seven for you. And so when I tell you that the fully built out matrix would have one hundred and thirty one thousand people, I've just told you that every participant in it is going to be worth one dollar and a dollar forty seven on an ongoing monthly basis. Then you know that by definition, there cannot be a lot of them. There will be a few of those. This matrix is more of a mid-level income over here, the very front end. This is where we get our return of capital. We get a little make a little bit of monthly income. Over here, this is typically um, this. I view this as a five, seven, nine thousand dollar month opportunity for the vast majority of people. Where is the real money, the good money, the fun money? The fun money is money that we're getting paid, not because somebody joined, not because somebody used our service. The fun money is money we get paid because somebody else is making money. When our success is predicated upon the widespread success of other people, that for me is uh, nothing could be more wonderful than that simple idea. So how does that work? I'm going to go back over to my back office to illustrate that for you. Ba -doom -boom. Okay. Now we're going to come back over here. I'm going to go to my affiliate dashboard. And by the way, if you enroll, and I hope you do, if you enroll tonight, I invite you to, then you will tonight have an affiliate dashboard just like this. Everything I'm illustrating is part of what you have when you join the company. Now, if we scroll on down here, remember I illustrated this for a couple of minutes ago. I illustrated that I have personally enrolled a certain number of people. Okay, where do I want to be? Okay. And I illustrated, um, by the way, here is uh, my first check I'll get next week, and it's going to be $2,675. That's my first check ever from this company. Tiny, tiny, tiny little snippet of money, but it already illustrates the um, the reality. You know, this is not smoke and mirrors, and it's not, uh, it's not guesswork, it's reality. Um, when we come on down here, it illustrates 
put it there. Okay, right here is a screen I'm trying to look at. Let that catch up to me over on the Facebook page. All right. And so here up here on this green screen you're looking at, that top green bar says 63. That's because I have personally enrolled 63 people. I remember I illustrated for you a moment ago that we built this block of volume. What is the block filled with? The block is filled with affiliates, people who joined the company, not just because they wanted to use the service, but because they wanted to be able to refer others to the service for the income opportunity as well. Um, there are also income components for the pure customer acquisition. I'm not talking about that right now. That'll become a bigger part of my dialogue next month and the month after. Uh, right now, this is about the entrepreneurial message of you get a chance to be very, very early in the development of a company that is behaving like no other startup company I've ever seen in my life. You get a chance to be a conduit to this company and a conduit to a process that I believe has the power and capacity to dramatically impact other people's lives for good. And you get a chance to benefit financially as a result of that. Well, up there, you see on that first generation, I have personally enrolled 63. Because I'm their personal enroller, when any of them earn a commission in that matrix. And so, for example, I was glancing a minute ago and I saw a couple of names. Carol Sodman Morris is here. Carol's been a friend of mine for years and years, and she's on this Zoom. And so when Carol, because I brought Carol to the party, I introduced Carol to it. I was the conduit. I was her gateway to this, to this business. So when Carol earns a commission in the matrix, what if she earns $1,000? What if she earns $10,000? What if she earns $100,000? Whatever she earns in the matrix, because I brought her to the party, I'll receive a 20% matching commission. And so if we look there at generation one, those are 63 people that I personally introduced to the company. All of them want to make money. If they didn't want to make money, they would be a customer and they wouldn't be on this screen. Most of them are people who have income objectives and past income experiences of making $10,000 per month or more. They're all people who want and have the capacity to earn $10,000 per month. Well, if those 63 people all did that, then I would have 63 separate matching commissions of $2,000 per month. That would be a staggering number, wouldn't it? I want you to know that whether your interest is simply in joining as an affiliate and doing only a tiny, tiny bit, such that you generate a modest cash flow so that your membership fee is paid in your earnings. If it is something as small as that, or let your imagination run as big as it wants to run. When it says 63 there, that means that I personally enrolled them. When they earn a commission, I'll receive a 20% matching commission. Works the exact same way for you. So far, those 63 have enrolled 162. That's my generation two. When they earn a commission, I'll get a 10% matching commission. Generation three, so far, really small, just starting, 223. 223 people, all of whom want to make money or they would be a customer, many of whom have a past proof of significant financial success. Whenever any of them earn a commission check, I'll get a 10% matching check. That pays through five generations, 20% on generation one, and then 10% on generation two, three, four, and five. That is a check match, separate and distinct from the earnings that come from being in the matrix, that being that $1 to $1.47. Then down here, you say, well, why is this one shallow? Why is the shade lighter? Up here, it's dark green. Down here, it's not. That is because the computer is reaching out at me and it's saying, hey, Randy, wake up, wake up, wake up. Why do I need to wake up? Because these are 76 people on whom you are eligible to earn a matching commission as soon as what? If we come back over here and we look at my affiliate dashboard, what does it say? It says that my current rank is a three-star affiliate. Very, very easy qualification, by the way. Three-star affiliate. If we look at the comp plan document, which I won't right now for the sake of brevity, it will say that to get paid on this fifth generation, I need to be a what? Four-star affiliate. And so for that reason, what does the compensation plan do? It provokes the behaviors that lead to greater success. At the very outset, it provokes the behavior of me introducing this to you instead of me just using the service. How does it provoke that behavior? By paying me 25 bucks just by sending somebody a link and they say, yes, that's it. How else to provoke the behavior? Because when I enroll a new person, my nature, and I believe most of your natures are, I want to help them get their money back immediately. I want to help them be profitable and efficient. My belief is that if you're my new member, if I'm enrolling you today, and I'm going to say, remember how an easy decision this was for you? We just glanced at the web page and found out that you could book a hotel room where you've got to stay next month anyway for about a half as much money. As easy as it was for you, that is how easy it is for your candidates. Who are the first two people that you and I can talk to tomorrow? And then when I meet those two people that I'm going to say, remember how easy this was for you? All we had to do was consider where you're going in the next couple of months. All we had to do is ask if you'd like to get paid on the efforts of many, not one. All we had to do is say, would you like to get paid on the efforts of people outside of America and show them the realities? Um, you know, it, it took me minutes 
didn't take me two days. It took me minutes from the time I saw this to see that this was something that I not, didn't just want to do, but that I needed to do that I must do. And so if I'm enrolling you today, I say, who are the two people we can meet with tomorrow? Tomorrow, I'm going to meet with those two people. I'm going to say, who are the two people we can meet with tomorrow? 48 to 96 hours from now, your group should be unified. And if your group is unified, rinse and repeat, enroll a new person, 48 hours later, have them unified. Enroll a new person, 48 hours later, have them unified. Every time you enroll a new person, you're creating for yourself a 20% matching bonus possibility. Every time you enroll a new person, you're giving them an opportunity to experience life with less financial abundance. Every time you enroll a new person, you're bringing them into not just a business, but a community. A community that is enriching, that is edifying, that is rewarding. A community loaded up with people who are doing the right things for the right reasons, generating income because we help other people experience life with less financial pressure, engaging people in a process which helps them learn, grow, develop, and become all which they must to have greater results in all aspects of their life. Folks, if you are not yet a participant in Nilo Life, I extend to you my personal invitation to become one. If you are an Eagle Life distributor, but you're so far sitting on the sidelines and you haven't really engaged, um, I don't have an hourglass here with me. Unbelievable. I always have them beside me. You know, years ago, I'd go to my grandmother's home and it seemed like every time I went there, I'd hear back in the background this deep voice saying, like sands through the hourglass, there go the days of our lives. And that was, of course, a soap opera called The Days of Our Lives. And right now, literally and truly, I could tip over the hourglass and I could tell you all the way, I'd jump through the airwaves and grab you and, grab you and just shake you in the most kind, gentle, loving way and say, wake up like sands through the hourglass. There go the grains of sand of opportunity of this company. You get a chance once, two, three, four times in your life to be at the forefront, at the genesis of a movement, something whose time is right, something that is going to become. You are there now. Um, don't just be there and go for the ride. Be there and grab the steering wheel. You become one of the reasons that that which is destined to occur occurs a little more quickly. That might be the most important lesson I could teach you about putting the key in the lock of success in uh, not just network marketing business, but in business generally. Everybody, thank you for being here with me. Um, Willie and others, there are a handful of you that I know are scheduled to be on a Zoom with me in a few minutes. Um, let's rejoin uh, 14 minutes from now. I'll close out the Zoom room and reopen it then. Everybody, thank you so much. Absolutely my pleasure being with you. I uh, extend to you once again my personal invitation for you to become a part of this remarkable, remarkable possibility. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.